Aloha, ahi ahi. Thank you for joining me this evening. I'd like to uh, take a moment to say thank you, mahalo, for those of you that have joined me for the month of June for my Mele moment uh, throughout uh, June. So it was 30 uh, Mele that I uh, shared with uh, you. And I appreciate you liking my posts and uh, subscribing to my YouTube. I have over 100 uh, subscribers. And um, also, I've uh, posted it on Instagram. Thank you so much. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and um, continue my Melly Moment. Uh, into July, so July has 31 days. Uh, but before I share my mele, I'd like to just kind of give you my thoughts on how I'm going to proceed um, in July. Uh, a couple things, um, and I'm gonna look, cause I have notes uh, so that I don't forget. Uh, this is what I like, and this is just to challenge myself. Yes, I've been playing the ukulele uh, over 50 years. And uh, if you don't know my story, my mom, Julia Ho, uh, thank you mom for introducing the ukulele to me. Uh, she just, when I was five years old, she put it in my hand and I've been playing ever since. And, uh, I've just been so grateful that I've been fortunate, born and raised in Hawaii and to have been playing all these years. And uh, because I was born and raised in Hawaii, I know a lot of mele. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. Hawaii is the uh, birthplace of the ukulele. And if you don't know, the, it, it's actually a Hawaiian name. And the meaning for ukulele is jumping flea because when the Portuguese introduced the, the instrument that is now called the ukulele, uh, when they introduced it in Hawaii, the Hawaiian saw it and said, oh, that looks like a jumping, jumping fleas on the strings. So there we have it, ukulele. And, uh, and that's the correct pronunciation of it. Um, so, be and because it's the birthplace and it's in my heart, um, I, you know, it's part of my DNA and not only sharing uh, what I know about the ukulele, but the mele, the songs of Hawaii, from Hawaii, all Hawaiian lyric songs plus English songs that are about Hawaii. There's so many beautiful mele. And, you know, living here in Maryland on the mainland, uh, the experience I have with ukulele clubs and stuff is that um, they're just a small portion of songs about Hawaii that are in song books. But there are a slew of songs uh, that um, you can play along on the ukulele. And I'd like to, that's why I'm doing. So I've already shared 30 songs and I'd like to share 31 more songs. Okay, and part of this too is to teach you um, some language, um, the Hawaiian language. And, you know, even though some of these songs are all in Hawaiian language, it's, you can still learn them if you take the time. And, um, yes, it, it's, you know, like learning Spanish, you know, it, it, it's that kind of thing, learning a new language, why not learn a beautiful uh, melee? All right, add that to your repertoire. 
And there's so many beautiful stories, uh, mele, uh, about Hawaii, or about people that have gone to Hawaii, love songs, you know, songs about uh, people, places, okay, flowers, the, the rain, the trees, all kinds, ta towns, okay? Uh, so that, that's what this is all about. The other challenge for me is, yes, I've been playing for over 50 years. I have not always played chords that I wanted to play. Honestly, bar chords, when I first, uh, you know, that, that's not a favorite thing for me to play. But I've been, you know, challenging myself uh, these last a few years to play the bar chords and it's opened a whole new world of playing. You know, I think um, Sarah Mizell, she said, you've got all these friends up here, play them, okay? For many years I played, you know, the first three friends and fine, but there's so many over here. Why not play them? And that's a challenge for me to play chords that are uh, up the, the fret board. The other thing is in Hawaii, uh, the nahe nahe, sweet sounding um, strums. Okay, you're gonna, I'm gonna play a lot of songs with that. In fact, the melee today is uh, going to um, kind of have that nahe nahe strum and a lot of it, I'm going to be doing that. There are different nahe nahe strums. Um, it depends on the song. It depends on the the musician, okay, how they want it to strum. But it's just a relaxing, beautiful style of strumming that's unique to Hawaii. Okay, so I'd like to share that with you. Um, and you might say, why me? Well, it's not so much why me, but I am who I am, and I'd lo love for you. I'd love to share it with you. It's it's part of me. I love sharing um, the ukulele. Uh, I tell my children it's my first baby, um, and they laugh. They say, "Oh, mom," but you know it's part of me, and I'm so grateful uh, to share it with you. And it's fun. For me, yes, it, I'm gonna make mistakes as I play, but I'm gonna work on it to make it presentable to you so that you will want to uh, challenge yourself in your playing. Um, and, you know, make a comment to me. Uh, I'd, I, I'd appreciate the feedback. I've had so many wonderful feedbacks. Uh, and uh, I encourage you to write a feedback. The other, the other thing, and of course this is self-promotion, is that I would appreciate if you shared this, uh, my melee, and you can even go back to June and continue to share every day, all of July. Share, share my Facebook, Post, share my YouTube channel with your with your friends. Share it with your ukulele groups. I'd appreciate that. Um, just to encourage folks to hey, have you really have you considered adding more of the Hawaiian genre, if you will, to your repertoire? Give it a try. Nani's uh, sharing what she's learned, what she knows and uh, try it out, check it out. Uh, and the other thing, you know, I'm not just going to share just to, you know, a song a day. So, you know, I've got 31 more. It's to teach you also about Hawaii, the language, and why the song was written. Uh, Huapala.org is a great resource that I'm using, and most of it is from there, but I've got some other 
resources that I'm um, looking into to gather information uh, to share with you. So uh, that's the other thing to teach you about the Hawaiian culture and um, who we are. Yes, we can't go there right now, so why not learn about it while you're watching this video, right? So uh, the mele that I'm going to do is called Hawaii Aloha. And usually Hawaii Aloha, it's not a Hawaiian anthem or, or by any means, but it is a, a mele that is played at the end of like uh, a, a family gathering or um, any kind of gathering, birthday, maybe at the end of a conference, if you're in Hawaii. Uh, um, so this song just reminds us as Hawaiians, and by the way, I'm 75% Hawaiian. So it just reminds us as Hawaiians who we are and what we are grateful for. And it's a beautiful, uh, the, the tune was actually from uh, a hymn, uh, I Left It All With Jesus. Uh, that's the hymn, that, uh, the tune. Uh, but the Reverend Lorenzo Lyons, he was a missionary that came to uh, Hawaii and he lived on uh, the island of Hawaii. And uh, he wrote many, he translated many hymns into Hawaiian. And uh, in fact, there's a, all, a thick Hawaiian um, himeni hymn that beautiful. Uh, so I'll, I'll be sharing some of those hymns also. Um, so let me read the translation, but I'm just going to sing the first verse, um, which is common and then the, the chorus or the hui. Okay. Hui is chorus. Okay. Uh, so O Hawaii, O sands of my birth, my native home, I rejoice in the blessings of heaven. O Hawaii, aloha. Happy youth of Hawaii, rejoice, rejoice. Gentle breezes blow, love always for Hawaii. And it's such a beautiful uh, song that we sing um, uh, at, ga at the end of a gathering. And why this melee for today? Well, you know, kind of ended my 30 days. And today, new backdrop. It was a suggestion by my mom. Anyway, so um, uh, it's a, now we, we begin July, the 1st of July. So, uh, so here we go. Hawaii Aloha. And, oh, I'm going to do that Nahe Nahe Strong, right? Okay. And also the other thing, Hawaiian vamps, okay? That's common, and there's different ways to do the vamps, so you'll see that in my melee, okay? So, and if you have any, any, any uh, questions, email me, nanilauri at gmail.com. Uh, let me know, or put a question in, in uh, my Facebook post. Uh, so, I'd appreciate that. Hey, Malo.
Vai Aloha, Malama Pono, which means take care, and I will see you tomorrow.